Hi guys, Elio here with Naravid for Blender. In this one, I want to show you how to use a radial array in hard ops. So let's bevel this cube and add some weighted normals and let's maybe add some screen cast keys so you can see what I'm doing. Let's make this cube a bit bigger and apply the scale. Now, let's say that we wanted to add a ray to, you know, to this face here. So let's grab a cylinder and let's sharpen this, make it smaller and move it uh, here. Rotate it on 90, move it back in and make it a bit smaller because it's a bit too big. So there we go. And now we, all we need to do now is to go to Mesh Tools and click on Radial Array. But nothing happens. However, if you move your mouse, you will see that the displacement will kick in because you have two modifiers on the left bottom screen. You can see that there are two modifiers, displace and radial array. And now the displace is actually active, displacing on Y axis. So that's how you do it, right? Now, if you press H, you can see other options. For instance, if you press X, you can switch the axis on which this array, you know, runs. Then you get stuff like R, which is really cool because it will limit the, the angle um, on which the array to which the array is going to be limited if you want to make the the items them you know of this array smaller you need to go to edit mode and you know scale your item and um or for example you can model it you know you can do whatever you want and it should work now what if for example i had uh, this cube was of another shape so let's let you know let's extend this face so g uh, gx and extend it here let's apply the scale with Control A and apply a bevel here with Control B. And what if I wanted to drop this array on this face? Well, I could go to this snapping menu and you know, click align. I mean, snap to face and align rotation to target. Grab this array and G and hold Control, and it would snap, which is pretty cool. But uh, you could also do this in a other way with um, through enabling the old array, array V1, because this actually is a array V2, but we could switch it to array V1. And array V1 has a, you know, quite a few interesting toys that come with it. Now, for example, you could just uh, go to array V1 through mesh tools, right? And if you shift uh, control click, you're going to have the same behavior over the snapping tool. Another cool toy with this, uh, you know, in this array is actually uh, shifting the uh, the mode. So if you go to Mesh Tools and Array V1 and press uh, buttons V, B, or N, you will see that uh, the array will gonna start switching. And for example, uh, it will uh, jump into uh, where is it? Uh, N. It will jump into. Um, a displacement is 360 twist 360 which is really cool it's like a second displacement running on this array and you can really you know create some interesting shapes with it now if you wanted to array this array what you could do is simply switch the arrays again so instead of pressing on array v1 which basically will you know go back to displacement mode right you could actually use this array and displace it one more time and do something like this and that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you should use hard ups. Anyway, guys, that's, I think, enough tips for you for the radial array. Play with it, have fun, check the, uh, um, you know, uh, the H menu, because it's quite interesting. Uh, play with both ar arrays, the V1 and V2. I have an, a video that covers array V1 in depth. I can link it in the description for you, so you can have a look. Uh, but the array v2 is uh, a bit more stable and a bit more refined than array v1 however like i said array v1 has still some interesting toys to offer now another thing that you can do with uh, is uh, this radial array is array around the cursor so if i for example drop a cursor in here and drop a sphere in here right make it a bit smaller and go to my array and control click it i'm gonna have something like this which is pretty bloody amazing well thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the bit give us a like and sub if you did links in the video description to hard ops and box cutters on gumroad and blender market so if you need these add-ons get them they're freaking amazing other links as well to stuff like uh, decal machine mesh machine machine tools kit ops i use this stuff all the time i bloody love these add-ons and i highly recommend them there are tons of videos on my channel that show how to use them and many many more to come Thanks for watching, catch you in the next video.